So if you're looking for a jazz master style guitar, an offset style guitar, and are less concerned about the name on the headstock and more concerned about the quality of the guitar, then you definitely need to check out this one. This is the GNL Doheny. This is an American made jazz master style guitar from the company that the man himself, Leo Fender, the last company Leo Fender had and it's all kind of put together in this awesome Jazzmaster. So uh, let's take a look at it. So the long and the short of GNL is that Leo Fender had Fender, and you can just Google this to get the full details, but had Fender, left Fender, started consulting for Music Man. When that thing went south, he started GNL guitars. And so really there's this interesting thing with GNL that a lot of people that are GNL believers are in this train of like, this is like kind of the capitulation of everything that Leo Fender was working for his whole life. So, you know, you can go after those 50s and 60s strats and tellies, but GNL, you know, fanatics are saying, well, what good are those when GNL is really the last thing? Like, all the tweaks and revisions that Leo had are going into the GNL instruments. And. Honestly, I've liked GNL for a long time. You know, one of the things about GNL is you have to get over the headstock, meaning, you know, a lot of people buy a Jazzmaster, buy a strap, buy a tele, they want it to say Fender. So if you're at that point in your playing where you're kind of like, eh, it doesn't really matter what the headstock says. I mean, this is the same with Gibson, any of the name brand stuff, right? Like, there's great single cut alternatives out there. I mean, Eastman, for example, versus the Gibson stuff. But if it has to say Gibson for you, I mean, that's cool. But it's hard to, you know, there's a lot of good stuff out there. The Doheny is really a competitor of the American professional jazz master. And this thing is just gorgeous. I mean, look at it. Lake Placid Blue, just amazing looking. This thing um, has two um, P90 soap bar style pickups. It's just awesome looking, right? I mean, look at it. Look at that finish. It's like a Lake Placid sparkly blue. I mean... How do you say no to that? The fit and finish are immaculate. There's no like socket, you know, neck pocket cracks or anything like that. Um, it's just a really, really clean guitar. And really, if you're looking at a jazz master style guitar, and say you're looking at the American Professional and you're looking at the GNL Doheny's, there's really two big differences, okay? One, I guess let's call it three, but two big ones and then one is subjective. So the two big differences are one, the pickups. So these are the GNL specific MFD pickups. Now the cool thing about these, if you're really into you know tweaking pickups, each pull piece is individually adjustable. It's something kind of that Leo kind of got into at the end there is that every every pole piece you can adjust up or down towards the string. I don't get that into it. I just want to know that pickups sound good. in those other types of pickups that don't have that you can kind of tilt them so you can lift one side or lift or you know lift or lower any specific side but um but the pickups and then also the bridge the bridge on the gnl is just flat out wins there's no really comparison there the bridge on the jazz masters from fender they've gotten better over time the old ones are just notorious for going out of tune you'll always see them replaced you know with aftermarket ones but these GNL bridges are solid. And this is the stop tail one, but even the tremolo version is just solid. It will stay in tune, it's awesome. Um, so it just straight wins on the bridge side. Now the third one, that's probably a little more subjective, is how it feels in your hand, right? And obviously tone is subjective, so which pickups you like are going to make a difference. But you know, how it feels in your hand, 
and you know, do you like the way the GNL feels? If you're at a guitar store and you have a GNL and a and a jazz a jazz master there, which one do you feel better? Which one inspires you more? I mean, that's really probably more important than any of this stuff we're talking about. But man, I'm a I'm a believer in these Doheny's. I mean, I think they're really really cool guitars. I've played quite a few jazz masters in the past and have. Um, not hung on to any of them, and this Doheny has been around in my collection for a while. Obviously sounds really good, right? The, those really chimey cleans that you're expecting from a jazz master. Now, I'm not much of like a surf guitar kind of guy. I'm definitely more of a blues rock kind of guy. But these P90 style pickups can definitely sound good for that. Something to keep in mind on these types of pickups is they do tend to be a little noisy, so you got to kind of deal with that. Um, but they really. <laughs> So there it is, the GNL Doheny. I really think you need to check this guitar out if you're looking for an offset. The cool thing is this is the USA made one. They actually have a tribute one which is made overseas. It's a lot less expensive. Um, these aren't that expensive to start with. Like I said, they're kind of in that same price range as the American Professional Jazz Master. So in that $1,400, $1,500 range, they have a deluxe version that has some cool um, inlays in the neck. I think a couple other things about it. Um, but from a functional standpoint, you could just go with the standard one or check out the tribute ones. The tribute stuff from GNL is awesome. It's like five, six hundred bucks, and it plays really, really nice. It's an amazing guitar. So there you go, the GNL Doheny. Hey, if you enjoyed hanging out for a couple minutes with me, would you consider hitting that subscribe button? Uh, I'm B-Side, and we'll talk to you next time. Um.